Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Classic Vanilla and our Hardcore Warlock run here on the Bloodsail Buccaneers server. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you clicking on the video and choosing to spend some of your time here with me. I am reaching out to get an invite to the Hardcore Guild today. I'll try a couple times throughout the morning. Apparently, lots of people could use invites to the Hardcore Guild, but there does not seem to be anyone here in Elwyn Forest who can uh, accomplish that right now. We might have better luck once we get out into Greater Elwyn, but we will see. We are going to head over here. We are looking for Cobalt Laborers. We need to slay 12 of them. Workers are on the outside. I think we have to go a little bit deeper into the mine to get to the Laborers. I think they're going to be aggressive. Oh, they're not. Hmm. Okay. That works for me. I think I'll probably just, maybe our dots, the imp, and our dagger will be able to take on most of them, so... Obviously, you know, we're a warlock. We're not really supposed to be stabbing things with a dagger. However, I feel like it's okay for right now. Speaking of stabbing things with a dagger and doing melee, let's get demon skin up for a half hour. That'll give us some additional armor while we're tanking these guys in our cloth. Alright, we're out of mana. Let's go ahead and drink a little bit. We could probably just sit on our regen, but I did buy a bunch of water, so we might as well use it. You know, we actually have quite a bit of mana at this level. It's taking a minute to refill, even while drinking, so... Eventually, we'll get all kinds of tricks to be more mana conservative. That'll start closer to level 10. Like, when we get a wand, that will also be really good. When we get a wand... We don't need to go so deep into this mine. We could probably fight guys on the outside, but... Why not do a little exploring? Who knows, there might even be a chest back here. I did want to say thank you to you guys who left like some really awesome positive comments on the last shaman video where, where we died. I I'm sure it must be frustrating for you guys too to be watching to see those fireballs come in and to like know in your head what I have to do it to live and watch me make the wrong choices. But then to leave like such good and positive comments, I really appreciated that. I, I don't take the death very hard. It was shocking to me obviously. Uh, but yeah, I don't, uh, I don't foresee myself ever getting too upset upon character death. Now, obviously, that being said, we only got to level 19. If I were to lose a character at, like, level 55, I, I might have a little bit of a different reaction. <laughs> As might you guys, and rightly so. Especially if I died to something stupid, like not noticing that I pulled a caster. Uh, he actually resisted our immolate there. 
we're 12 out of 12. We could just kind of look around in this room. I, I don't see any chests. Yeah, it doesn't look like they were hiding anything back here for us. For some reason, I remember the laborers being aggressive, but I guess they weren't. I thought one of the cobalt types was aggressive. I guess the only aggressive guys in uh, Northshire Abbey are the Defias. Uh, what about over here? Sometimes there's a chest here, but not today. Alright, let's work our way out. We'll go turn this one in, and then we'll head over to the vineyard. We need Millie's Harvest. We're going to be collecting grapes in buckets. And we need to find Garrick Padfoot, because we need his head. Not just proof of his demise, we need his entire head. Just shove that right into your bags with everything else. It'll be fine. Let's check the vendor. This is going to look worse, but it has more armor than what we currently have on. It doesn't it doesn't look that bad. It's not it's not that bad. What's messing with is is the weird shirt beneath it. There we go. That's fine. Uh, what else do we have to sell? Shield we don't need. And melted candles we don't need. Light bless you. All right. Light be with you. Once again, you have earned my respect and the gratitude of the Stormwind Army. There may yet be kobolds in the mine, but I will marshal others against them. We have further tasks for you. Report to Goldshire. Rambles, you are a warlock with proven interest in the security of Northshire. You are now tasked with the protection of the surrounding Elwyn Forest. If you accept this duty, then I have prepared papers that must be delivered to Marshal Dugan in Goldshire. Goldshire lies along the southern road, past the border gates. For the Alliance. I like how we salute. It's very charming. Alright, before we do that though, we still have things to clean up here in the valley. I'm always surprised to see that the warrior ranks among the most played classes, especially because it is supposed to be the most challenging to do on hardcore. But it does seem like lots of people attempt it. Let's get the grapes first, and then we'll work our way over to Garrick Padfoot. Now there are other players here. It's true. These are the buckets that we're looking for. Mm, questionable which one of us cleared to that one. He's going to grab one of these. We're going to... Let's go this way. That way maybe we can grab two. Oh, there's lots of them right here. This is nice. We're going to grab these two and then we're going to leave some up for other players. Oh, they're respawning really, really fast. It's probably not even going to be an issue.
Oh boy. Okay, let's see how we can deal with this. Well, we dealt with it okay, and neither us nor our imp died, so... I'll take that as a big victory. And maybe a little bit of uh, a cautionary tale that we need to be a little bit more careful. Like, this would be a good time to be careful. Uh, well, let's see. Maybe we can avoid some of these guys. And Garrick is in a little hut situated in the hills over here. Uh, it looks like somebody just took him out. They're hurting back. We are going to fight this one and hope that he respawns pretty soon. I don't know if we're going to form a line here, if other people need him, or what exactly the plan is, but... We will line up in an orderly fashion. And we'll just kind of wait here for a second. Uh, if there's anybody else around to fight, we could fight them as well. We, we do need one more of Millie's Harvest, actually. For some reason, I thought we were done. Let's take a peek over here at the corner of the field. See if there's any buckets we can grab. I do see one, but I don't want to take it from this warrior. He seems like he's fighting for it. Let's hang out here for a second. We can keep an eye on Garrick, and we can keep an eye on the field at the same time. So whichever one pops up first. Okay, well, there we go. There's Garrick. Send the imp in. All right, let's get the last bucket right. Well, it would have been right here. We're going to let the warrior have that one. Not that we have a lot of choice. There are a bunch over here. Let's clear our way over into the corner. And then we can actually just probably hurt out of here, I guess. Um, well, do we want to save it? Maybe I save it. Within the next hour, there's a chance that it could come in more useful than, than using it now. Uh, we'll go here. Okay, let's hold the, the hearthstone and let's just run back. there safe travels all right we have to take this to the guy inside the abbey up in the attic where he's tending to the wine because of course he is Hello. We'll take the pants. See you around.
All right, let's head in here and get this one turned in, and then we'll come back out and vendor everything. Hey there. Have a good one. Okay, let's vendor and then we will get on the road. Greetings. Here is our breadcrumb. He wants us to deliver some goods to the Lion's Pride Inn. And here we are. Welcome to Elwyn Forest. We made it out of the little starting zone and we are still alive. And it is a foggy, rainy day here in Elwyn. That's, that's special. It's usually sunny and cheerful. I don't know if this is supposed to be some kind of omen. I certainly hope not. I like how little peaks of sunlight are kind of trying to poke through, but... It does look like a pretty dreary day. We didn't bring a poncho or anything, so. We'll see if at any point today while we play, if the weather actually changes. How are you? At least it's nice and cozy at the inn. Safe travel. We'll make this our home, and we will what turn in our you? breadcrumb quest for some water. See you later. Okay. You have a quest for us. You need something? My brother and I run an apothecary in Stormwind and I'm here to gather large candles for their wax. You can get the large candles from kobolds and I hear rumors that kobolds are, you know, you you'd think we could make our own candles at this point. I, I, I doubt that, uh, maybe the kobolds make the best candles. I don't know, maybe they know some, like, tr trade secrets. Hmm. Well met. You have word from McBride. Northshire is a garden compared to Elwyn Forest, but I wonder what Marshall McBride has to report. Hmm, it says here that you've been awarded acting, acting deputy status with the Stormwind Marshals. Congratulations. And good luck. Keeping Elwyn safe is no picnic. What with most of the army busy doing who knows what for who knows which noble. It's hard to keep track of politics in these dark days. The mine in Northshire isn't the only one with problems. I have reports that the Fargo Deep Mine in Elwyn has also become a haven for Cobalt. Explore the mine and confirm these reports, then return to me. The mine is due south of Goldshire. Be careful. Who else has got quest for us? You do. How are you? The kobolds in these parts sometimes carry gold dust on them. I could really use the stuff. Bring me a load of it and I'll give you the best price in town. The best price. He'll give us a bag of marbles and one silver for like a bunch of gold dust. I feel like we could probably have gotten a better price. Safe travels. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to head to the south. We are not going to do the kobold quest yet. We're going to do the stuff down at the farms. It's going to be a little bit of running back and forth, unfortunately. Uh, but I want to get that stuff done. That will get us the quest for Gold Tooth. Now, the problem with Gold Tooth is that I don't know if maybe he is an elite or not in Classic. 
I, I wouldn't put it past them for him to be an elite. That's kind of what I'm worried about. Like, will we be able to do that quest? Okay, we've lost our imp. Imp down. I repeat, imp down. Also, doing some of the preliminary stuff, uh, it might get us the level we need to kind of get our power up a bit. We, we are feeling kind of weak here. I, I don't remember what farm we want to go to first. There's definitely a preferred order of operations here that I'm probably going to mess up without Questy. Oh boy, we are in combat with this guy now. Our pet is on defensive, so if, if we take a hit at all, he's going to turn around and start casting. I could put him to passive while, while we're trying to travel. But it's okay to fight some stuff right now. I just kind of want to get the reveal for the uh, map down here. Okay, so nobody over here has a quest yet. We have to start over at the other farm and then we have to come talk to Billy. I'm also realizing that I, I probably should have went to Stormwind and learned skinning right away. We're going to miss out on some skins early on, unfortunately. The good thing about skinning is, you know, we'll always be able to do plenty of it. There's really no way we can get too far behind on skinning. That's kind of the good thing. I'll ask every once in a while. Uh, I thought the way that it worked was anyone in the guild could invite. I kind of thought that was the way that it worked. Maybe people are just not watching general chat. Oh, there we go. Uh, now, guys, I don't think I can stay with the, uh, with the guild chat up. Uh, for obvious reasons. And the biggest reason is just that it's a distraction to the immersion that we try to have going on here. So yeah, I don't think I can leave it up, but this will let us look for groups and stuff. I'm going to go over to our immersion tab for now. Good day to you. The lost necklace. I lost my necklace and I think that gutter snipe at Billy Malkir took it. He's usually scudding, scuttling like a rat around the Malkir vineyards east of here. Get my necklace back for me and you'll warm an old widow's heart. Have a good one. Okay can do that. You have a quest for us yet, but we're not a high enough level to get it, which is a little bit weird. More on that later, I guess. Let's do that. If we go down there, we're going to aggro somebody. Let's talk to Billy. You lost what? Well, I didn't take no necklace because I ain't no thief. I might know who did, but I'm too hungry to remember. Uh, he wants us to get him a pie. And to do that, we need chunks of boar meat. Luckily, we can just kill the boars that are hanging out on his farm here. And they don't seem to mind.
Even with our armor up, we still take quite a bit of damage when we do start getting hit, so... That is something to think about when we're thinking about how many Shadow Bolts we want to pour into an enemy. A pretty good time to level up, yeah. I'll take it. Where'd he go? What happened? Oh, somebody else killed him. Rude. <laughs> Super rude. Okay, it's totally fine. Character facing angles messing up my thumbnails. Ugh. Ugh. Hey, did we get that one somehow? We did. Okay. Yeah, there must have been something weird. I thought they got that for sure. Uh, what's our imp doing? Oh, he's out of mana. He's like, what? You mean you can't kill this one by yourself? That's hilarious. Uh, yeah, he must have ran out of mana there for a second. Because he completely stopped helping us. Okay, no, no, no. Passive, passive. Ah, oh, we're locked in combat. Yeah, that is the bad thing about being a caster is that uh, many times you'll get your mobs inadvertently stolen by melee classes. They're not even doing it on purpose. They're just going in. And you're just standing there casting. Rip, Nert. Rip. I kind of like that. It could, I guess it could get obnoxious depending on the frequency of which people are dying, but I mean, that's the first one that I've seen today. So I, I actually don't mind that. Well, we'll take a drink of coffee every time somebody dies. <laughs> we'll, we'll guzzle some coffee. It'll be a drinking game, but it'll be a coffee drinking game because I have to live. If I wanted to get really hardcore, it could be like a Red Bull, a sugar-free Red Bull drinking game. It's about as hardcore as it gets around here. Alright, four out of four. We have to take this over to Auntie, and she's going to make the pie for us. Reluctantly, but she'll do it. She wants her necklace back. And now that we're level six, Ma Stonefield has a quest for us. You need something? 
I don't think it's right feeding the boy who stole my necklace in the first place, but if that's what it takes to get back what's mine, then so be it. See you around. Hello. The Brackwells have a prize-winning pig, Princess. The sow is huge, and she got that way, sneaking over here and eating my veggies. Before she comes to our fields, Princess must die. Bring me her collar as proof. This is horrible. Just kill another farmer's prized boar. Farewell. Very rude. Probably just build a fence or something, you know, to keep it out. A better fence would work. But sure, we'll kill Princess at some point. She's going to be way over here in the Brackwell Pumpkin Patch. And we will have another quest to do over that way later. All right, yeah, he was playing in the Fargo Deep Mine, etc. So you know what we missed? We missed the quest to make the invisibility potion. Hmm. I must not have looked in one of the buildings over there. Unless... Oh, there she is. Okay, yep. Okay, we're good. Uh, she wasn't over there. She Mabel Malkir. McClure. You think after 18 years I would read the name and pronounce it correctly, but you know. How are you? Uh, yeah, she's cursed. Her heart belongs to Tommy. The family's trying to keep them See apart. We need to get these two together. Um. But yeah, what does she want us to do? I think she wants us to run back over there, right? Yeah. Give her love letter to Tommy Joe. Okay. Uh, I could have done this a lot more efficiency, efficiently, even. Gonna be one of those mornings. Let's fight another boar just to to shake off the inefficiency of our little traveling here. A lot of running back and forth is not exciting, especially in a hardcore run. We're getting boar meat, and that's fine. We can use that when we grab cooking, but uh, I don't like not being able to skin these. And I feel like after we do this stuff, I'm probably gonna have to make my way up to Stormwind. I, I just don't know. I mean, we're going to get skinning because we need it. But I don't know if I'm going to spend the money on tailoring right away. I might just start shoving some of the copper into our banks. Or some of the cloth into our banks. So that we can uh, save it for later. Save it for when we have the silver to spend. Because not only are we going to have to spend silver initially on training. But we're going to have to spend silver on the patterns that we buy. And really early on, it's kind of difficult to do that. So yeah, I think we'll we'll grab skinning and we'll hold off on doing a lot of tailoring until later. Okay, this guy is going to be all the way over all the way over here. These are my least favorite quests maybe in the game. So I try to do them first, right away, and get them done with. Uh, because the alternative is that I won't want to do them at all. But unfortunately, cumulatively, they're worth quite a bit of experience, so we, we can't skip them. What can I do for you? Have a good one. All right, speak to Grandma Stonefield over here, and then I think she sends us back to town for the next part. Uh, and that might be a good time to, to use our hearthstone, perhaps. Although we do have the quest to go in here now. To go into the mine. So maybe we can do this. We'll turn this breadcrumb in, grab her follow-up, and then we'll head into the mine. Uh, we do have gold tooth now, so we will see. It doesn't say elite. It doesn't say elite. We have to trust it. You need something? Be careful.
we are going to have to sit and drink after this for a second. Ouch. Well, that was rude. <laughs> that guy just kind of took off. He waited till the guy passed down here and attacked us, and he took off. Well, there's Goldtooth. So he spawns back here. There's a chest. He's grabbing the chest. Okay, well, this is where the guy is. We can kind of hang out in this general area. He was not an elite, so that's actually really good. Uh, but right now, we just could stand to fight any kobolds at all, and there are not a lot of them up. Here we go. Oh, that's not good. Our imp is dead. Our imp is dead. Okay. We're gonna run? Because I think that we're almost dead? Um... And I'd really rather not die. At level 6. Okay, we're clear. Let's, let's just relax for a minute. Everybody take a deep breath. Yes, the playthrough almost ended at episode 2. That, that's absolutely true. However, <laughs> we lived. So, it's going to be okay. Let's get our imp back out. And uh, yeah, we really don't want to take on two guys at a time right now. That's kind of what I just learned about. So yeah, that's interesting. Goldtooth went down again. Had to go with a dagger there to make sure we got the tag off. I don't really know how cutthroat people are in on the server about tagging mobs, so... There we go, that's Goldtooth, Bernice's necklace. We need a bunch of stuff though. We, we might be better off trying to fight these guys outside. Uh, and just picking up respawns out there because this place looks pretty farmed out. And we need seven candles and a bunch of gold dust. Our inventory is full. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But there isn't a lot we can do about it. Can you eat that apple? That's about it.
this too is questionable. I mean, if our imp goes down and we don't get both of our dots up, then that could be bad. And the imp is still up, but the imp is also going to run out of mana. Yeah, see, we're, we're having some close calls here pretty early on. Yeah, we're having some close calls. Let's eat and drink. Inventory is full. Very, very full. Don't think this is the way out. And I do want to be heading out. I feel like fighting them outside is going to be safer. So if we can do that, let's do that. Yeah, we've, we've got uh, respawns just crawling on top of us right now. Alright, we're going to run. Yeah, we're setting the pet to passive, and we are going to get out of here and drop these guys. And we'll reset. We'll reset and we'll approach from the top of the hill as opposed to the opening of the cave where everything is respawning on top of us. Okay, dude, if you want to fight all the way out here, we can we can throw it out out here. That's absolutely fine. So many things we're leaving on the ground that we need to be selling. It's really, really hurting me. <laughs> but we're going to finish this quest before we head back. Alright, again, not the greatest situation here, but we should be okay. The imp is out of mana, though, so it's just our auto attack and a little bit of immolate damage. Let's see if we can just finish it up. Okay. Apparently, we are going to need food. We're going to need food and uh, water on this character for right now, or, you know, we need to get first aid going, one or the other. Well, we need one more candle, and then we can get out of here. Ah, uh, that did not get us the candle. Let's try the one up here.
All right, they just do not want to drop this last candle for us. That makes sense. I'm not surprised. Not with our burgeoning inventory. There we go. Now we need to get out of here. We are just going to run from this guy. I don't want to leave any more loot on the ground. I guess that's the other interesting thing. We can look at people's levels who are currently online. Highest in the guild right now is a level 53 paladin. Who was last online 14 hours ago. Nice. Hey there. Rambles, there's a new threat in Elwyn Forest. Murlocs are swimming up the streams of eastern Elwyn, scaring away fish and attacking gentlefolk. I warned Marshal Dugan, but he's more worried about the gnolls and the bandits. He's not convinced that Murlocs are a danger. Please, Rambles, speak to Dugan and persuade him to send more troops to the east. See you later. What can I Let's do? turn in the mine first. Thanks to you, we know the Fargo Deep Mine is infested with kobolds. Now we need a scout to investigate the more distant Jasper Lode Mine. Explore Jasper Lode and confirm any kobold presence. To reach the mine, travel east until you... Yep, we know. I know how to get there. Yes, I spoke with Remy. I respect him as a merchant, though all reports of murlocs to the east have been sketchy at best. Your concerns are noted, but unless I receive a military report of a murloc threat, we can't afford to send more troops east. If you are concerned that the rumors of murlocs are true, then do this. Travel to the Eastern Elwyn Bridge and speak with Guard Thomas. He has been stationed at the bridge for the past week, and will know the state of the area. Bring me his report. Light bless you. Okay, let's go, Vendor. Well met. We'll keep the boar meat for when we learn cooking. Be careful. Okay, that will be fine for now. How are you? Here are the candles. Shipment to Stormwind. This is perfect. My brother Morgan is waiting in Stormwind for my shipment of candles. I don't have enough time to make the trip myself, but if you'd like to take him the shipment, he'll pay you well. Have a good one. Yes, Hello. we would like to take the shipment. Uh, they are colluding to make an invisibility potion for the girl so that her and Tommy can go get together. We're going to help by bringing four crystal kelp fronds to William here. Safe travels. Uh, let's go visit our trainer. Well, let's go check a couple of things. Honor, friend. What can I do for you? Uh, you could train us in cooking. That will do. See you later. You're the mage trainer. You are the physician. Hello. Safe travels. Um, I thought we had a trainer somewhere, but I guess I don't know where they're at. <laughs> that could be a problem. Are they in the basement or are they outside? Let's check the basement. Yeah, there we go. Warlock trainer and demon trainer. Uh, let's do life tap. Life tap converts 21 health into mana. Yeah, I mean, we need it, but... I don't think I'm going to be grabbing it right now. 
or using it much. Shadow Bolt Rank 2. That, that's what I really need. Be careful. Let's just get really what we are going to use for right now. Let's get, let's get that out to our bar. Uh, and then Life Tap, we will we'll pop out here somewhere. Do cooking. Drunsuk, Rip. Druid, dead at level 17. Um, what else? First aid. I feel like we need this. I feel like we need this more than we need to save for tailoring right now, but we'll see. Uh, Demon Trainer, however. Need help? Uh, you might have things that we need. Blood Pact, yeah. See you around. Let's go ahead and learn Blood Pact. I think that gives us some additional stamina. Yeah, stamina increased by two. We definitely could use a bigger health pool, so that's good. Okay, I think we have to head to Stormwind now. We have a quest to go there, uh, and I want to go there to get skinning. Mainly just to get skinning at this point. Yep. I, I don't want to keep killing beasts and not being able to harvest the resources. So that is what we're going to do now. Open for business. Have just checking for cooking recipes and things like that. It definitely has rained non-stop so far. I was kind of hoping the weather would change. One of the last times we leveled up in Stormwind was on the Fresh Start Maladath server for the Paladin, and the pre-patch event was still happening for some reason, even though the expansion was out. And so it darkened the skies, there was the, the obelisk floating in the sky. Not the obelisk, you guys know what I mean. An obelisk is like a tower. This was a uh, necropolis. <laughs> it rhymes with obelisk. Not the same thing, though. Yeah, and so that event was going on, which really ruined the mood in Elwyn. I like it to be nice and sunny. It's nice and sunny here in Stormwind, but I think in vanilla, the cities couldn't have weather effects. The cities were like their own weather, separated from everything else, so... Uh, the Stormwind Visitor Center... Have I ever been to the Stormwind Visitor Center? I don't think so. Tabard Vendors... Guild Masters... We are going here to the Apothecary. You have a quest to just run around Stormwind, which I may do at some point. Good day to you. Here's the shipment from your brother. Uh, we will take... We really don't need any of this. So I'll just take this. This will probably sell for... Uh, this one sells for the most, it says. See you around. Well met. There you go. Light plus... Okay, let's head over into Old Town and we can learn skinning. Same thing here as it was in Orgrimmar. The, the city is completely empty. Everyone is out leveling. And the only people really in the city are people like us here to do specific things. And we're not just hanging out in the square at max level. Standing in the fountain stuff. We're kind of doing okay on silver, so I, I may be able to get skinning and tailoring now. Tailoring is going to be over in the mage area. Uh, did I... No, this is right. Yeah, yeah. Skinning trainer. What can I do for you? See, unlike Orgrimmar, I actually know my way around Stormwind a little bit. 
because the layout of the town makes sense to me. I've spent more time in Orgrimmar in my life in WoW, but I, I know my way around Stormwind better because it's laid out like a sensible city. I can actually remember where some things are at and how to get to them. Yeah, obviously, I, I love all you guys doing the hardcore runs, but I, I obviously can't keep uh, I can't keep guild chat up while I'm recording based on some of the stuff I see when I glance at it. Here we go. Tailoring trainer is... You're the artisan trainer. We need the journeyman trainer. And there we go. Go ahead and we'll learn the white linen shirt. Might be something we can skill up on. Let's go ahead and pull that out to our bar. There we go. And we might as well start leveling this a little bit. I love uh, tailoring. I really had a great time leveling up tailoring on our mage that we took through Burning Crusade. It was really awesome to be able to make cool gear for ourselves as we leveled up. I'm looking forward to doing the same thing here. This seems like a pretty good place to take a bit of a break. I'm actually going to hearth us back to Goldshire and I'm going to get the hearth going on cooldown. I am going to take a little break, refill my coffee, get some calories into me, and then we will be back. We are going to work on uh, collecting kelp right away, and then we're going to hope that some other stuff uh, comes from that. We completed gold tooth. That turns in actually down south, so we'll have to make a trip to the south to turn in gold tooth. And yeah, we'll see what happens from there, guys. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate the support. It's been a great time playing hardcore, and it's like become the only mode of the game that I enjoy to the max. I just have a lot of fun. I think about it when I'm not playing it. I sometimes have dreams <laughs> about tragically dying on our hardcore characters. So yeah, that's a good sign. It's a good thing, and I owe it all to you guys for being here, for showing up, for the support. So thank you so much. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there in the real world and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.